right, guys. What a crazy, crazy day. Um, energy sector, random runners, SPI, just absolute madness. Um, complete and absolute. So, but uh, so first things first, though, I just want to go over MNOV. A uh, trade that I just really, really understood today it has some really good comments in chat. Um, pretty much completely spot on with the scent all day. Um, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, if we start at 7 a.m., um, had a PR, mouse data, means nothing in the first place, but was also a rehash. This is a 100% obvious short. Um, something I want to take a look at is, yeah, uh, previous runner. I remember uh, trading it during this uh, trading session here and just remembering how manipulated it is. It's had a bunch of random spikes and it's been just super manipulated. Um, but basically what I saw here was, you know, somebody bought, you know, this bam, this like 10K shares, which put it up here to 764. And I'm like, you know, like there's chasers and stuff in this market, but it was just, uh, it, they always kind of do this, right? And it just fades off. But um, what I, you know, what I thought, and I would have shorted a little bit here, I don't have everything in all the accounts, but I'll just explain what I did. Um, you know, obvious, you know, there's a buck you would have covered, but the first thing that I really saw that was interesting here, like this is an interesting, there's no volume, um, was at 7 a.m. There's always 7 a.m. shuffles around, so I was looking for one today, and I noticed um, these three candles, bam, 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 and, you know, there was significant volume, and that's a, that's, that's buying, right? That's not short covering. That's too much volume. There wasn't enough volume to justify that. So that is literally someone buying. Like, look at that. There's must be like a hundred K shares or something like that. Right. That was a lot of, a lot of buying and, you know, shorts would have started to fill in here. Um, the longs collected here and, you know, now shorts start to accumulate in here. You know, but you start to think as a short, you start to look at this other top here, right? You're thinking, even though this means nothing, it's just a candle, just a little stick on the chart. You're just like, oh, you know, like this, this is the top. So I'm just kind of short in here, risk in here. Uh, but you don't really think about what you're doing, right? It's like it's shorted on nothing, right? So big deal. Um, came down, I was watching it, just, just watching it. And it did a little trap here with the wick fail and came back up and perk. Um, and, and, you know, I thought, I thought maybe this was the top, um, it failed, stuffed, snapped. So double confirm fail in my eyes. And then I just wanted to watch. I wasn't going along, so I wasn't along here. I wasn't along here. Um, and when it failed exactly where it should have, instead of testing and failing BWAP, it bought the wick up and then I waited until it came down on this wick and they bought that wick up too. And I was like, okay, so, you know, they're still here. And so I took long, considerable size. Um, it was actually a little bit too big. So I think I sold on this little wick pop. And as it went up, I doubled my size again, sold it was a little scalp. And then for the rest of it, I sold, sold, sold into this high. And uh, you can't see my short in this account, but I shorted literally right here because um, it was over this peak that I talked about. And I thought I had nailed the top. I, I shorted a huge size and came down, perked. You know, I was fine with that, but then bam, it went through high of day. And I emotionally covered through high of day um, here. I should have given myself more room. I said 8 to 820s was my plan. Um, so yeah, I wasn't too happy with that. But um, what I did was when it didn't go anywhere with it and just stuffed and came here, I reshorted the same value and uh, added on this pop here. Didn't believe it that it was going and I was right. And then it just uh, continued to fade off all the rest of the day. So um, just literally never went to VWAP ever again. So unfortunately I covered a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. It was mostly all covered, like I said. Uh, so I had to chase it down uh, most of the day on pops. So I didn't make, I minimized what I was going to make, but really simple trade, both long and short, um, up no news, just trading price action um, alone. So 
And uh, Sava kind of ruined our scan. Um, we wanted, like we wanted this um, this range, right? 10, I said, 1060, literally, 10, look at this, 1066 to, I can't remember what I said on scan, but somewhere right here. This was the range that I wanted, um, you know, into this next day up here, right here. And that's exactly what we got, but it was up pre-market on a little upgrade, which totally ruined my plan. And so, yeah, that trade was kind of botched for me. And, and look at that fade, like, holy crap. But markets were down huge today, as you can see, SPY, just massive, so it was ridiculous. But, um, which also kind of you know, ruined the SRE trade and all those other trades. So, um, SPI, crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, hindsight, yeah, is a whatever, but um, should have longed, you can't even see it on the chart. I said in chat, uh, 10, and it was right here, right here, there was a perk. Every, everybody thought the top was in and there was a perk and this is when it broke trend. And that would have been a perfect time uh, to get long. However, honestly, I did think the long was in here. I called long, but I did say I went short it because of the casino and should have broke down here, didn't have perked and held again. Uh, there was another opportunity to long. And something I want to point out is there was no uh, there was no parabolic rep or uh, relative to the chart. This is up from a dollar fifty to what is this up to? You know, to eight dollars up four hundred percent. So eight dollars, twelve dollars isn't really a huge parabolic. So you know. Really, in my eyes, to sell, you should have waited for the parabolic. Right here, right here, I knew it was going to 30s, called 30s. Quite frankly, didn't expect 40s, but that's complete just not so. Um, and yeah, and then Wild wow, Wild wow, Trader, and it looks like it's uh, it's going after hours, so maybe there'll be some trades in there tomorrow. So um, Sun W uh, Sympathy is going to be a great trader um, with that one because it's... You know, not that either of them are really up on news, but this is literally up 100% right now because it came from, yeah, 0.71 to 1.4. So, anyways, I just wanted to go over MNOV and kind of explain um, how this was an easy play. And you can see later in the day, you can literally short, cover, short, cover, because you know it belongs at 570s. Here's a head and shoulders pattern. Knew it was going to break that. And, uh, yeah, pretty simple stuff. Um, just go from there. So, uh, any questions, you guys? Always let me know. Uh, I'll see you in chat tomorrow. But uh, and I'll get that scan going.